Hello my plant people and my non-plant people. So today we're gonna go to a new plant shop in Houston. It's called Wet My Plant. And um, I think it's been a month and a half since they've opened. And I found out about it through one of my Instagram friends. And then I started following them. And I think yesterday they posted it's been a month and a half. So, I mean, one, the, the name is hella cute. And yeah, I don't think there's many new like plant places here in Houston. So I'm excited to see what they have. And I'm also meeting my friend Maddie up because she has two, two plants for me. Um, and I'll show you once I get home what they are. But one of them is my wish list plant. And then another one, she kindly just had an extra plant and um, was willing to give it to me. So right now I'm at a coffee shop by downtown and I'm gonna go in and get me something and then we're gonna head over that way. Yeah guys, so let's just get into the video and let's see where this day takes us. Okay guys, I got my coffee. It's a vanilla latte and then I got a, I got a, a croissant. So I have some time to kill, so I'm just gonna chill, relax, eat my croissant, drink some coffee, and then I'm gonna go ahead and head over there because I'm not too far. Um, I believe it's located off of West Gray if you're familiar with the Houston area. But yeah. Hey guys, so this is what my plant. Um, it looks like a home that was renovated into um, a shop. So it was really cute place. They had a good selection of plants. Um, none of the plants had price tags on them. So you did have to ask the owner, um, but he was super nice. And he said that him and his girlfriend are the ones running the shop and they had a just really cute aesthetic so you can see that they have these topo chico bottles with cuttings in them they had jarritos with succulents in them um it was just a very cute shop um this is the back portion of the shop that i'm showing first and then i'll show you the front portion but if you just want a little change of scenery in the houston area and you're in the area i would highly suggest you come and see this little local shop that just opened up um he said that they would be having a grand opening party soon so that should be cool and then on the way home i decided to stop um at the garden kingwood garden center i wasn't looking for anything specific as always but it looked like they were like newly stocked with a bunch of different plants they had a good selection of calatheas um, a good selection of sansevierias in different sizes they had these cute little, um, what are they called? Spider plants. And I've never seen them like this. So it was my day off and I kind of just took my time looking around. I did end up picking up a plant. So I'll show you after this portion of the video. But I hope you guys are taking time for yourself and enjoying your hobbies and your passions. Um, if you do want to check out the Kingwood Garden Center, I would recommend. They have a really cute boutique shop inside too. They have a great selection of pots. Um, they have a great selection of outdoor plants too. I really like this um, garden center. And I actually think um, Warren's in Kingwood as well is connected to the shop or they own the shop. Okay guys, that's all for me talking. So um, I hope you enjoy the rest of the video and I'll catch up with you in a second. Okay guys, I'm back from the store. So I'm gonna show you the one plant that I picked up today at Kingwood Garden Center. And then I'm gonna show you the two plants that my friend met. 
And then I'm gonna show you the two plants that my friend Maddie um, handed off to me. One of them is a wish list plant, okay. Okay, plant number one is going to be this beautiful Maranta. I believe it's a Maranta green. And um, I actually was like trying to find the best one because there was a couple that looked a little rough. And then I had picked up another one, and as I was going to check out, um, this one was definitely the best option. So I'm excited to have this one. There's, I think it's like um, a variegated one that Wild, that Fern here on YouTube has. Is her name Wild Fern? I'll leave her channel down below, but she has one that's gorgeous 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 so i'm very happy this was 9.99 i am probably going to repot it because um a lot of the not a lot but you can see that some of the roots are coming out and there was quite a few fungus gnats and yeah i just don't want to create a problem so i will definitely be isolating this one from the rest of my collection um until I repot and all that, but very excited. $9.99, you can't beat that, it's a good price. And then for the other plants, um, my friend Maddie, when we met up, she, I went with her to wet my plant and she gifted me one of her alocasias. So it's alocasia black velvet. So I'm super excited to see how this one does in my home. Ooh, it's a new leaf coming out. So yay for a new alocasia. Okay. And then the plant that I'm most excited about. Are you ready? A Cebu Blue. And a big ass Cebu Blue at that. I mean, ooh, she's trailing, her leaves are big, she has a bunch of new growth. So Maddie was kind enough, she went to Home Depot Monday, I believe, and she found these at her local Home Depot. So she lives on a different part of town from me. And she kindly texted me asking if, um, she, if I wanted her to pick one up for me. I was like, yes, girl, I'll send you money right now. And she picked it up for me. So now I have a Cebu Blue. So I'm very, very excited about having this plant in my collection. And I already think I know where I'm going to put it. I think I'm going to put it on my shelf where my lemon lime philodendron currently is so that she can be the new star right there. Super, super, super exciting. So another wish list plant crossed off. So I'm actually gonna need to do an update on that one. Maybe not like another wish list plant, but an update on my wish list plants. So super exciting. And then something boring. I mean, not boring, but I got um, two terracotta pots at Kingwood Garden Center. Um, I like them because, well, one, the saucers, move that dirt, the saucers are like shiny here, and I have not seen any like this before, like, I usually go to um, Home Depot or Ace Hardware, and I really like this, it's different. And then the pots, I believe these are just regular four inch pots, but they're like a bit like um they're not as long as like the typical pots that i use and i like that so i really like the style let me see if i have one to compare it to one second okay so you see how i think this is a five inch but still you kind of get I think you can tell the difference more if you compare them in store, but the rim is a little thinner and it's like there's a quite a big difference. So this one is just like squished down. I don't know how to explain it. It's not, it has wider 
but it's also shorter and I feel like the regular terracotta is just like pretty long. Oh, also quick fact. I realized that this is not a marble queen. I purchased it as a marble queen and I'm pretty sure it's, uh, well, I'm like almost 100% certain that it is a snow queen. So yeah, I don't think I've showed this one much, but very happy. All right, guys, so that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you did and subscribe if you're not already subscribed and I'll catch you in my next one. Bye.